Now the Toyota Hilux must be the best example of any vehicle from any segment that's purchased based on reputation rather than reality. And what do I mean by that? Well, we know that they can tow serious weight. We also know that they can plough their way through sand and we know that they can climb their way up the side of a rocky mountain. However, we know that the Hilux SR5 isn't even the best in the segment. In fact, it's not even close. It's a middle field vehicle. And yet, people go out in their droves and buy them. So how often do people actually use a Hilux SR5 in the manner in which it was designed? Well, come on, let's be honest guys, rarely. Who takes their $56,000 plus on-road cost Hilux SR5 and bashes it off-road or in the bush? And that means that if you buy a vehicle like the Hilux SR5, it's because of that dirty word, image. Now we joke about it all the time, but Toyota could probably remove the engine out of this thing and put a set of pedals in there like you see on a bicycle and people would still buy them. Buyers don't care, it literally makes no difference what Toyota does and there's good reason for that. Now I've got a mate, Joe, he's a landscape gardener and he owns a Toyota Hilux Workmate. You know how many kilometres he's got on it? 500,000, yep, you heard right, half a million kilometres. Original engine, original gearbox. All he's done is change the oil himself in between services. Now Joe, he wouldn't buy any other ute. And can you blame him? Now play along with me here for a moment. I just want to show you how a typical conversation with an existing Hilux owner goes. Say, one who's got a Hilux who's two to three years old. Mate, I need to buy a new Hilux, but what have they done to the front end of it? It's friggin' ugly. And the infotainment system, well that's not as good as a Ranger either, is it? Actually, I can't argue with you about that. No, it's not as up to date. And you're right, it's the kind of face that only a mother would love. So mate, what sort of ute did you buy? Well, mate, I bought a Hilux. I put my order in last week. It literally makes no difference what Toyota does to these vehicles. People will still go out and buy them in their thousands. You know how the conversation goes. Hey mate, what do you put in the tray of your ute? This, my gym bag. Yeah, that's really making a ute work hard for its money. I have, however, found an ingenious way of owning a brand new Hilux SR5, like this gleaming red beauty here, without ever using it for work. Now, follow along with me. The actual result is so simple, and I know I'm a little bit smarter than I look. Look, it's another Hilux. And it's a renter, so it's been beaten to within an inch of its life. It's hammered, just like an actual work Hilux should be. And I get to kill two birds with one stone because I can brag to all my mates about how good my new SR5 is as a tow vehicle and I can actually get some serious work done out of, you guessed it, another Hilux without damaging the tray of that one. Now granted, towing a car trailer and a whole other Hilux around five days a week is going to get pretty boring, but it means I can go to work without ever damaging my brand new SR5. Now enough of this silliness, I have to get some work done. Okay, so enough with the pot shots and the cheap shots at tradies and dual cab ute owners. It's time to get a little more serious. We're gonna take a proper look at just how capable this Hilux SR5 really is. We're gonna tow some weight, we're gonna plow through some sand, and we're gonna do some rock and dirt off-road driving. Now don't cringe, it is gonna get dirty, it's gonna get a bit muddy and it's gonna get a bit filthy, but it'll all be worth it. Why? Because then you'll know how capable your dual cab really is. First up, let's go through a couple of the boring facts and figures. 2.8 litre, four cylinder turbo diesel engine. So it's down from the old three litre unit. And you might think that it struggles a little bit with the trailer behind it, but in actual fact it doesn't. And the tow rating is now up to 3,200 kilograms, as well as a 925 kilo payload. 925 kilos. When have you ever seen a Hilux SR5 with nearly a ton in the train? Anyway, the engine makes 130 kilowatts at 3,400 RPM and 450 newton meters between 1,600 and 2,400 RPM. So, it gets about the task of hauling this trailer with a Hilux Workmate on it very, very easily. In fact, at 50, 60, 70 kilometers an hour, you don't even really feel like it's there. There's a couple of factors that are really important when you're towing. One is visibility, and the Hilux has great visibility. It's got large exterior mirrors, a good rear vision mirror inside the vehicle, but it's the external ones that make the most difference in terms of positioning where the trailer is. 
two is the power of the engine. Now because this diesel makes its torque nice and low, it's easy to get off the mark and it's really easy to get up to speed. And the other factor is you don't want to feel like the trailer is shunting you and pushing the vehicle forward and you don't get that. When you get a full chassis vehicle like the Hilux, it's very, very solid, very secure and it feels like it's quite stable on the road and in fact, with the weight over the tow ball, it actually settles the ride down a bit and it rides more comfortably than it does when it's empty. Next up, we're gonna pump the SR5 along some sand and while this isn't particularly powdery, really ultra fine sand, uh, it's still difficult enough and it's still challenge a four wheel drive and really hardcore sand is probably one of the most difficult things you can ask your four wheel drive to drive through. So the SR5 has beautiful low down torque and the engine's really effortless and it's got really good momentum once you're rolling. The automatic gearbox shifts between gears smoothly so you don't lose any momentum, you don't feel like you're bogging down and losing any of your forward progress which is the real enemy when you're on sand. and bland and I've got to be honest I've called it that myself you can take a dig and a bit of a cheap shot at the people who buy them tradies or otherwise and make no mistake that Ford has stolen some of Toyota's lunch of late with the Ranger which is sold in increasing numbers however as we've shown over the past two days this Hilux SR5 is an extremely capable leisure and work tool if you use it properly and the best part is, you'll be beating on it for half a million kilometres if you look after it and you service it regularly. Just do us a favour and stop posing around town in yours, will you?